So let's talk about the model. The model, again, in robot legs is the observer pattern, okay? It looks for data and, and as things changes. It stores the global data in your Corona MVC app. It's the API to the data. You should be able to write a unit test for your model class and see it work, right? Whatever that may be. It shouldn't have any weird third-party dependencies. And if it's a proxy where it actually has a service inside of it and that's the way you choose to do things, fine. But that API should be a black box to the data, okay? <clears throat> it usually wraps a VO or a collection of VOs. That's what models usually do, uh, DTOs. It doesn't listen for framework events. So you don't have a model listening for a change elsewhere. It's an observer pattern for itself, not for others. Unless it's a facade and it's a bunch of models and it's different. It's not a model. What it does do is dispatch data changes, just like any other observer pattern. When this model changes, it's a high score and the scores change. Hey, the scores change. If this is a person representing a person from the database and the person has changed on the client or it's through a socket, it's updates, hey, the person changed, right? So dispatch those changes so others can respond to it in a view fashion. The requirements for a model in robot legs for Corona SDK, all you have to do is dispatch changes using runtime. Runtime is the global event bus built into Corona. That's it. That's all you have to do for models, okay? You can code them however you want. You can do the classes however you want. Right, you don't have to map them in contexts. How you know if you want, you can put them on global. As far as we're concerned with dealing with robot legs, the convention and Corona, this is all you have to do. Got it? Okay, that's models.